I'm Mr. G, and welcome to my seaplane flight test. The other night, I was watching a, uh, a Scott Manley stream highlight where he was talking about radial air intakes and how they help planes and other crafts that you might create float. So he made a design that's similar to the one that I have here. Okay, so as you can see, it's got a main fuel cell lodge, it's got two pontoons, and the bottoms of the pontoons are covered with uh, the radial air intakes. Now, as you'll see in the water, I don't want to say they don't interact with the water, but something with their the property, the coated properties, um, they don't break as easily in the water. So you could potentially land a plane going 40 or 30 or 40 meters per second I want to say in the water and then you could also make your craft go up to roughly 130 meters per second in the water that's just as high as I got it in this plane at one point okay now as you as you saw right there the plane lifted up a great deal that's because I didn't have the SAS on without SAS this plane is very difficult to fly but with SAS, it's very, it seems balanced, it's stable, unless you make a, um, a major pitch adjustment. I'm talking like 30 degrees or more, um, at which point the plane will start flipping uncontrollably, and I believe it, I'll actually show that later on in the video. Um, as you just saw, I, I showed that there were parachutes on the plane. I have those in case the plane gets out of control and I can't stabilize it. I'll just pop the parachutes, float down the curb and safely and I'll uh, I'll just start over again alright so we're coming back around we're gonna go land in the ocean over here and what's gonna happen is we're gonna turn make a left turn and uh, taxi out a little bit we'll start our takeoff we'll come around and we'll land on the runway So here, as you can see, I'm reducing to three or two thirds throttle, um, pitching the nose down a little bit to kill off some altitude. The ideal landing vertical meters per second is roughly three to five meters. If you can get it in that range, you're you're pretty safe. As you'll see here, I am decreasing to one third speed, leveling out a little bit. Still decreasing in altitude. Just gonna touch down nice and easy. Going down 80 meters per second horizontally. Going at roughly two meters per second vertically. Down, touch down at 60 meters per second. So as you can see, the, the intakes are pretty strong and the plane's just floating. I took off SAS. If you don't have the intakes in the front, what will most likely happen is when you take off SAS, the nose will dive, it'll go into the water, and you'll probably break off the nose cone and possibly the fuselage. getting settled, getting ready to take off again at half throttle. Now, this plane, because it's got the pontoons on the sides, you can start to lift the nose out of the water pretty easily, which you'll probably see here in a second, up to 48 meters per second, 50. And there we go, we're taking off. Now, I just want to mention that this design isn't completely mine. Uh, Scott Manley's was very similar to mine. I, I saw his plane, and I said, you know, why why mess with what works? Um, I made a few improvements. I used canards in the back. He used just a standard tail fin. I didn't think that there was enough lift with the tail fin, and I didn't think that the, the plane would adjust pitch quite well enough with the tail fin, so I used just canards in the back. So 
So as you can see, I have canards in the front and the back, so it gets some pretty decent pitch adjustments. That's probably one of the reasons why the plane likes to flip so often. This is the flip I was talking about. As you can see, it's fairly difficult to get out of. But then as soon as you cut the throttle, you need to do some spins. You do some rolls rather, not spins. I want to be a little more specific. Then you get back in the throttle. They're easy to get out of sometimes. If you get a really bad one, I use the parachutes. Drop the landing gear, and it comes back to roll. We're making the final turn to come back to the runway. We're going to start decreasing throttle uh, and reducing altitude. Hope I can get this line up right. Probably going to be a little bit off. All right, just keep decreasing. Level out. Pitch. Keeping the pitch good. Decrease throttle. Keep it steady. No sudden movements. This looks like it's going to be a rough landing. All right, we're coming in. Down to like a third throttle now. Still a little bit too high. Not liking the angle. All right, we're coming in. Softly touch down. Okay, so by softly I meant bang the ground. All right, guys, so that's my seaplane. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. This is my first video with uh, voice commentary, so go easy in the comments. I'm still getting used to the, the whole recording myself, talking into a microphone, looking at a screen type situation. So leave a like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos. Thank you for watching.